<laughs> Freddie, oh, yeah. how you doing? Hey. Hi, Fred. Hi. Pleasure. How you feeling with this fight, Freddie? Big fight, fight weeks here. It's a big fight. It's um, I really like the whole show actually. Mm. You know, because I, I I do have Lenny Zappa on the show also in a twelve rounder, mm. and um, it's gonna be busy. Uh, it'll be a good night, but there's uh, there's a couple great matches, three good matchups on on top. You know. Very good fights now on the show, so it's exciting to be on big shows like this. This fight was supposed to happen before, and now it's happening now. And the thing that changed was you in the corner now. Robert says that really changed the dynamic of the fight. Uh, do you feel it changed, and how do you feel going head up with Robert again? Well, you know, um, I, you know, I'm sure we're both trying to do it the best we can, and uh, not, you know, be. The, the ordinary person like the same guy who fought last time, making adjustments and so forth. And uh, so, I mean, my guy's doing really well. I'm, I'm working on short, him shortening his combinations up and not being so big and so wide. And just like, you know, trying to knock people out. I'm trying to get him to set things up behind the jab and, uh, and control the ring. And it's been working really well. And uh, he really, he's a very good student. He likes to learn. and. Uh, he picks things up very quickly, and uh, we've had a we've had a good camp. I mean, again, the you know the the fight's been canceled three or four times now, and a couple of times I you know I said, you know, do I send him home? Like you know, let him go home for a week and just you know take a break because I don't want to burn him out. And then his wife his wife his, <laughs> says, no, don't no, tell him to go home. <laughs> so, but the thing is, uh, so, um, but then we did it finally have to go, I had to let him go back for, to get a stamp on his uh, passport and mm -hmm. make sure everything's okay there. So, but we've, we've had great great training for this fight. We've had a long, long training camp. Uh, you know, again, when, when the fights were like postponed for a little while and new dates and so forth, we made adjustments on the workouts and, you know, so a couple of days off here, we're every other day for a while and then when the, when the fight was rescheduled then we're back to a full a full camp so um, um, we've gotten to know each other quite well I've had a lot of time to spend with him uh, I think he's learned a lot I think he'll carry that into the fight with him and uh, you know he just like won't go out there just trying to trying to look for a knockout because everybody uh, thinks that right well everyone thinks he, he's a good puncher and so forth and I told him I said just let it happen I says I said you know if you force it it will never happen. So I said you're in there with a good opponent. He's an experienced fighter. He has a lot of good fights under his belt. He's fought punchers before. He knows how to handle it. And if he moves, we'll cut the ring off and make that smaller and set traps for him. And if he tries to come forward, I want my guy to show him his power right away and show him who the boss is.